Hey, I'm Wilkes. Welcome back to Sharpest Koi. I'm hobbling because I'm knacking my ligaments in my bloody leg. Trying to run. Getting too old for this lot. Right, so this week, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install an... Oh, a bit dark there, isn't it? I'm going to install an overflow into the uh, backy shower. So even though I've sussed it with the top tier now and I've just put foams at the top, there's no media in the top and it's not really been overflowing, but I get to about two weeks where it's just it's ready to do it. So if you're in peace of mind, especially when I'm away in the summer and things like that, uh, or away with work, at least I know that if it blocks, it's going to go back the, down the overflow. Now, a few of you suggested obviously putting an overflow, I'm going to turn that way because of the backlight, into the top tier so it overflows back into the pond. But to save me actually drilling into it, what I'm going to do, and I can't remember the person's name, I even tried looking back on the comments and I, I think I've just missed it completely. So I apologise, but someone recommended to actually install some pipe into the foams that's in the top tier. So basically the water comes up when it's starting to overflow, back down the pipe and it just goes back down straight into the backy so it shouldn't overflow. So I'm going to test that theory and that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then I'm going to let it block and hopefully make sure that actually works. So I've got some pipe in the garage. Um, I'm not sure the size of it, I'll go and get it in a minute and I'll let you know what size of it. And I think what I'm going to do, because it's not big pipe, I'm probably just going to put two or three actually into the foams itself. It needs cleaning anyway, so I'm ready to clean it. I'm just in the middle of a Nexus clean as well, hence why there's no water return coming out. And so yeah, I'll go and get the pipes. Actually no, first thing I'm going to do is clean the foams that's in the, in the back. We'll get all that sprayed down first, get it all cleaned up, and then we'll get the pipes and we'll show you which one we're going to use. See you in a bit. Right, unfortunately, it starts to pee it down again. I'm going to use this. I've got some flexi pipe, inch and a half, 38 mil, and I think one probably should be enough. So if I measure, just turn around. So if I measure in there, up to just below where the spray bar goes, maybe a centimetre short, inch short. If we cut it to that, and I'm going to put it right in the middle of the foams. So we'll get that snipped, should be alright. All the foams are more or less clean. And the media, I still need to get some more alpha grog in here. It's got CSM underneath it. I thought they'd just see it, but it's not caked in crap at all. Oh, that sticker guy in there. So it's definitely being kept clean. Right, I need to put you inside because you're getting wet. And so is my feet. Brought them into the garage and this keeps you guys dry. So if that goes in the middle there, so if I cut a 38mm diameter hole through the foams and then the filter floss that's going to sit on top as well, that hopefully should do the job. So let's get them holes cut. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do and show you at the same time, but all I've done, I've just slit it with the scissors in the middle all the way through. Because I don't need to cut around all because I want it tight against this pipe anyway. So I can get that pipe through there. I'm probably going to have to put you down while I do it. Well, that will come out the other side. And then just push the foams to the bottom. But I'm going to have to put you down. Let me just see if I can stand you up somewhere. Hang on a sec. Yo! Hey, help me, ducks! Right, there you go, that's all the way through. Not that you can see, but... I've just realised, I'm not sure putting it in the middle might have been the best idea, because from the spray bar, there is middle holes. Is that just going to go straight down there? Um, let's go and have a look. I'm so just spitting. Not completely in the middle, I know, but it doesn't have to be, I don't think. I'm just thinking, is the spray bar just going to shoot straight down there? Trial and error, like I've said before. Well, I reckon that should do the job, it's big enough. So if it does overflow... But what will also happen, I think that will probably stop the foams from rising up as well. Because what happens is when it starts blocking up, the foams start coming up. I well I could have put some pebbles in there to weigh it down a bit, but I think that will probably keep it down now anyway. So if the water rises up, we'll just hopefully I'll just go straight back down there. 
So we'll put it all back on, put the spray bar on, we'll have done with that, it's over there, and we'll switch it on. <laughs> I'm having to hold you guys under a bloody bucket so I can show you what I've done. It might echo a bit, it might sound a bit weird, but as you can see there's a black pipe in there and it was right under one of the, uh, the, the sprays that will come now, so the spray was obviously just shooting straight down the pipe. So I've just bent it slightly, just so nothing's going straight down. And I've got the filter floss now on the top. So what I can do next time, I've got some more of these foams anyway. So we'll leave it like that for a bit. And when the time comes to cut some more foams up, um, I, can, I can use the same pipe, fingers crossed this is gonna work, but I'm gonna move it slightly, as you can see with the camera movement, because I'm holding the bucket with the other hand, that way so it's under the spray uh, so, so the spray's not going straight down the pipe so it's sort of the spray's like going over if you get what I mean so like I said before this is all trial and error so I appreciate the person that did um, did recommend it want to come in to do the edit I'll, I'll, I'll find his comment and I'll put his name up on the screen because it was a great suggestion I really didn't want to sort of drill into the top tier of this so I think this is a great way of doing it right Let's get you back indoors and I can end the vlog. Look a drowned rat. Look at me. Right, that's all I'm going to be doing this week, guys. So, would you believe I'm supposed to be off to a barbecue this afternoon? Burgers in the rain. Can't beat British weather. So, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys, as normal. God, it's coming down heavy now. Uh, yeah, so let me know what, in the comments what you think, guys, as well. Fingers crossed this will work. Um, like I say, I'm going to purposely now let this overflow. Like I say, normally get about two weeks out of it before it starts building up anyway, and then I come to clean it. So I'm going to purposely let it and then just see what happens, see if that works, save drilling into that top tier. So, as always, guys, make sure you subscribe. Oh, I, I, while I'm on the subject of subscribe, I'm going to be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I've just got to get a few prizes and stuff together. Um, I've got a limited edition Sharpest Coin mug on its way. So that one and only, so that's going to be part of the prize as well. I just want to get a few more things added on as well, and then we'll do the thousand script, thousand subscriber giveaway. So cheers, my dogs. Oh, and make sure you like this video. It's great for the algorithm. Helps my channel out a lot. And share to all your friends. Cheers, my dogs. Bye.